Okay, um, here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys how to remove a glove compartment from my E36 model. Uh, I know when it first started, I broke a few um, a few parts because I couldn't figure it out. But okay, so I've gone ahead and taken everything out, put everything back without screws, just so uh, I can show you how it's done. So first, what you gotta do is you gotta go ahead and remove this vent right here, this whole section. In order to do it, um, you gotta go ahead and remove two screws. The mistake people make here is they try to go ahead and use some, they try to pry it from the top and the corners, and they end up breaking this sections here. What we gotta do is, if you look closely right back here, see there's no screw there, but there's a fill up screw there, and another one that goes right back there as well. You can see it. So once you take those two screws off, of course you gotta open this glove compartment first once you take those off this should just slide out just like this let me go ahead okay so how, that's how it looks once the uh, this has been removed that's how it looks right here okay so you can see that's the opening for where the screws screws hand out. Okay, now to remove the glove box, again there's you gotta remove four Phillips. One goes here, one goes right there, right there, and right there. Okay. Again, the mistake that most people do, and I actually did it a few times, is once you remove that, you try pulling it out and it doesn't pull out. Okay, again, most people break this the glove box because they force it out. Tricky is, the secret is right underneath this bad boy right here. This goes back here, okay? So once you remove this, you pop it down. On top of this, I don't know if I can show you here. Yeah, pretty much on top right here, there's a 10 millimeter bolt that looks like this, okay? Once you remove that bolt, then it's all about sliding it out. I went ahead and did that already. And then what happens is just pull it out just like this. And of course, you got a few cables here you have to uh, either cut or remove. In my, in my case, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them out. You got these two, you cut them out. Of course, you also gotta remove the panel that goes here in the bottom. And that's pretty much how to remove a glove box compartment. And to install it, it's just the reverse, okay? Okay, if you need more information, check us out at facebook.com backslash Beamer Merchant. That's B-I-M-M-E-R-M-E-R-C-H-A-N-T. Okay, take it easy. Bye.